Today I'm going to show you how to register for KFL's summer reading program using the Beanstack app, which is available on iOS and Android platforms. It'll come up when you search for the app as the Beanstack Tracker, and it'll be this blue app with a white heart. So let's get started with registering. We'll tap right in and follow the prompt to get started. It's going to ask if your library is already using Beanstack, and you can say, yep, and then start searching for our library name. We can just put in Kenny Bunk, and that'll pull us up. And you can see we came up as the top result there, so we'll tap the arrow off to the right. On this screen, um, you do, shouldn't have a username or password if you're just registering. So down at the bottom, you can click on where it asks if you don't have a, an account, you can sign up. So we'll tap there. So this is just the basic overview account. You'll put pick a username and a password, and then you'll be able to create profiles for everyone um, that will be using this app in your group or family. So we're just gonna make up a name for the library. I'm not going to bother with an email at this point, but we would suggest that you put one in or in a later screen you can put a phone number in. We would like you to have one of those two um, just in case you win one of our raffles. That's the only way we'll be able to contact you if you are a winner. So do be sure to put in some form of contact information as you fill these out. Your password needs to be um, at least six characters long and then you can hit continue. Um, so the person who's doing the registration will wanna fill this part out. So we're gonna say our first name is Kenny Bunk. Our last name is Free Library. Carry on. Again, here's where it's gonna ask for a phone number. If you have an email that you prefer to be contacted by, just make sure you put it back in that first screen. If you prefer phone calls, you'll be able to add it here. I'm gonna go ahead and skip that. And here's where you can fill out your reader profile. I would suggest the person who's setting this up start with doing their own reader profile first before adding another reader, but we'll go through adding extra people too. So the reader profile's um, pretty quick. It's gonna ask for your age. We do need you to put that in because um, the summer reading programs, there's a kid's one, a, a teen one, and an adult one, and they're all um, going to funnel you into the appropriate one based on the age that you select. So I'm going to say that Kenny Bunk Free Library is 30. So that will put Kenny Bunk Free Library in the adult program. It will let you upload a photo, you don't need to. And here, see it's um, defaulted to the program called Imagine Your Story Adult Edition. And you'll click register, register again, and continue. And there you're all done. And it's asking if you'd like to add another reader. So I'm gonna say yes, I'm gonna add another reader. And this time I'm going to pretend I'm putting in a child. So I'm gonna use our little story time bunny, Ami, to do that. So I put in Ami's name and I'm gonna say Ami is about six years old. And that's going to make sure that Ami gets into the appropriate kids program. Again, I don't need a photo. And you can see here it says, imagine your story, children's edition. So I'll register for the children's program for Ami. Register there, continue and we're all done. So keep adding as many readers as you would like to be on this app. If you're done, right down at the bottom, you can click I'm done. So this will be the home screen that you'll see when you log in. You can see up in the upper right-hand corner, it says KF, that's Kenny Bunk Free Library's account. If I tap on that, I can toggle over to Ami's account, um, and that will be in the children's um, children's reading program as opposed to the adult one that you'll see on the Kenny Bunk Free Library one, so that's adult. So the community goal is to read 15,000 hours by August 15th. So what we're asking you to do is log the time that you read. So in order to log the time, you're gonna click this blue plus sign at the bottom, choose reading, and it'll ask you who you actually want to log for. I'm gonna start with the Kenny Bunk one. I'll choose reading there. And the last option here is logging minutes or pages. And it's only gonna give you the option to do one of those two things. We're looking for minutes. Now for every three hours that you read, you'll earn a badge and you'll earn a ticket to enter one of our 10 different raffles. So let's pretend that today we've already read our three hours, which equates to 180 minutes. So I'm gonna put that in and hit finish. And there, I've unlocked an extra badge and I've earned one ticket. I'll show you how to redeem those tickets in just a moment. 
I'm, first I'm going to log Ami's reading. So I toggle over to her account, log reading, choose Ami, do the same thing, log minutes, and we'll say that Ami also read, had a big reading day and did her three hours. And she has unlocked the Dragon's Egg badge and she's also earned one ticket. So to redeem your tickets, what you'll do is come to this homepage where it says current challenge and tap into the challenge. Now you'll see this options, the option to enter a drawing. You'll tap that and you'll see the different, we've got 10 different um, gift cards to local businesses that you can win. You have one ticket. You can save up all the tickets and then at the end of the summer choose to enter these or you can enter them as you go. That's entirely up to you. But say you want the Dairy Queen. You can add your ticket there and be entered into that drawing. And at the end of our program, we'll, have, um, we'll draw winners and contact them so they can get their gift cards. So that's a quick overview of how to register and how to log your reading and use your raffle tickets. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to us at the library, send us an email or give us a call and we'll help walk you through and troubleshoot anything or answer any questions that you have. So happy reading. I hope we reach that 15,000 hours.